Was that too intense? I thought that was a pretty cool intro. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, my home defense setup is to use a rifle. That's my preference. So I've been looking around for different ways to be able to mount my rifle and have it quickly accessible. Now, I, the ideal option would be to have a biometric safe, which you could have quick and very easy access to. And obviously it's a safe, so it remains easily. Um, however, that still takes up a little bit of time. If you're in a position where you are able to have uh, quicker access to the safe without the worry of children getting accidental access to it uh, or something like that, you could look for an option like this. This is a 3D printed um, gun holder from a company called Rad Labs 3D. So I was looking around for one of these options and I found out that one of you guys, one of my followers, makes these. And um, he sent one out to me to be able to take a look at it and I think it's really, really cool and is now a part of my primary use for the bump in the night uh, firearm. So it's a very simple setup. What it is is that there is the magazine well which the rifle will go onto and it actually locks in. It has a tab where the magazine catch will hold in a place so it doesn't fall off. And he offers a lot of different versions. This one, this one specifically is a vertical mounted rifle. Um, and obviously he has ones for a pistol. He has ones for like desk stands. Uh, he has ones that are wall mounted and a bunch of other options. And I think it's a very simple and very cool device that you could use for your home defense setup. Now, 3D printing has gone a long way over the past few years. So when I first heard about 3D printing, which was like obviously a few years ago, and it was starting to develop, there was still a lot of kinks and issues that needed to be dealt with when it came to the quality and durability of 3D printing. Now, pretty much anyone's able to get a 3D printer in their house, and because of that, files have been become very accessible, and you're able to get a lot of really cool things that are able to be 3D printed. So, he sent one out to me with the NDFT logo printed on both sides, which is really cool, and for me personally, another option, another preference of mine is I don't like leaving my rifles loaded uh, for my defensive use, primarily because if you have quality, expensive rifle ammunition, the way I work is that if there's any ammunition that I use that's loaded into a gun, right when I load it into the gun, I put a six month timer on that ammunition. It's good to be able to switch out your defensive ammunition if it's loaded into a gun every six months. Uh, every six months, for example, my carry ammo for my pistol, if it's loaded and you use it as an everyday carry, every six months that ammo should be switched because there's a lot of issues with potentially uh, sweat or gun oil or anything like that that could end up going into the ammunition and, and damaging it. And there have been cases where that has been a problem. And um, it's just ideal to be able to switch your ammo every six months. So for my rifle, uh, rifle setup, I have my rifle mounted onto this and I have my ammo very close by. So you just pull this off, load the magazine in and you're pretty much good to go. And it's very, very simple. So this again is like a one piece solid 3D printed device. It had no issues with strength. This is a very, very tight um, a piece of plastic to the point that you could probably even use this as a vice um, just to be able to hold your, your gun if you wanted to work on it. It's probably not recommended, but it is strong enough to be able to do that. So weight wise, it definitely holds it no problem. And when it clicks in, just like a magazine. There's a little bit of play there, but again, it doesn't really matter. The way I set it up is that when it's inside the room that I have it in, I usually grab it from on top of the rifle and just press the magazine release to pull it off. And it comes off just in one motion, which is really cool. And yeah, it's very, very simple, very easy to be set up. So right now you see if I lay it on the table, it's kind of canted downwards just because this is designed to be mounted like this as a vertical stand so it has an easy pull off for you to be able to gain access to it. So this is just a very quick overview about a very simple product that I think might have value to a lot of you guys out there that if you have a rifle set up for your home defense, um, this could be an option. Again, this is not a security feature. This is not something that I recommend having if you have around children or someone you're worried about having accidental access. If you use a rifle for your home defense setup and you want something that could give you quick access to it, this could be a very cool option to be able to look at. It's very affordable. It's customizable. I see them um, always posting on their Instagram, which I'm going to link, where you can check out a lot of different designs and colors that they use for the decoration of this, um, but it's definitely something maybe looking into if you do have a rifle and this would be an easy setup for you to be able to have. This is Raziel Cohen with ndftraining.com. Thank you for watching.